Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'll show you how to start a New Hampshire LLC in seven steps. We'll take you through everything you need to know about setting up your own LLC, but if you actually wanna bypass these steps, you guys can use something like Northwest to help set up your LLC for you. I've done this with every LLC that I have set up myself, and this basically just ensures that you do everything in compliance with the regulations. So if you wanna to skip to that section, we'll show you exactly how to do that, and that timestamp is gonna be down below. Anyways, here are the seven steps to forming your LLC if you do wanna do it manually. So step one is you'll want to name your LLC. Step two is you'll hire your registered agent. Step three is you'll file your certificate of formation. Step four is you'll create your LLC operating agreement. Step five is you'll obtain your EIN. Step six is you'll get any additional permits or licensing. And step seven is you'll file your LLC annual report. We'll go into all these steps in more detail in this video. But like I said, you can skip all this and have a service do this for you for just $39. And the link to that exclusive deal is going to be down below. All right, so let's talk about step number one, which is to name your LLC. To do this, you'll want to follow the New Hampshire state naming guidelines. So your LLC name must include limited liability company, LLC, or L.L.C. Yeah, nothing like corp or corporation, stuff like that. Here's some more naming guidelines. I'm not going to go through all these in detail since this video is going to get too long, but feel free to pause this video and look through these. Of course, your name also cannot be vulgar. It can't be offensive. It also can't be unacceptable as a business entity name. It also must be distinguishable from any other existing business names. And to determine whether or not it's distinguishable, you guys can look at this list of rules. Yeah, I'm not going to get into this in too much detail. We'll actually leave a link down below and you guys can click on that and learn more about this. What I recommend you guys do is conduct a state name search. We'll leave that link down below as well. And this is also optional, but if you do want to create a website, you may want to make sure that the domain name is available as well. So step two is you'll need to hire a registered agent. So this is basically a person or a business that is responsible for sending and receiving important legal documents on your behalf. So that's going to be things like tax forms, lawsuits, government correspondence forms, stuff like that. Essentially, if someone wants to sue you, they are going to serve you papers and there needs to be someone available during working hours 9 to 5 p.m. that can accept those letters. So that's basically what the registered agent is going to do as well as you know handle any mail that comes your way. They must be a full-time resident of New Hampshire and yes it can be yourself if you live there. It can be an employee or it can be a registered agent service. Now if you guys do use Northwest to set up your LLC it actually comes with the service free for one year so I just recommend doing that. And the reason why you don't want your registered agent to be yourself is because that is public information. People are going to be able to see that online. So step three is you'll follow your New Hampshire LLC's Certificate of Formation. This is Form LLC 1, and it's filed with the state of New Hampshire. This filing fee is $100, and to submit your documents, you guys can either do it online or you can mail it. Next, you'll want to decide on your management structure. So is your LLC going to be member managed or is it going to be manager managed? 99% of you guys watching this, if you want control of your own business, you'll select member managed. Step four is you'll create your LLC operating agreement. Now, in New Hampshire, this is not required, but I highly recommend having having one. This is basically a contract or a legal document that outlines the ownership and operating procedures of your business. So it's all the rules and regulations in one spot. The reason why you want to have this is because it's going to minimize future conflicts. And of course, it's going to have all the rules for your business. On this operating agreement, it's going to have the organization structure. It's going to have the management and voting structure, capital contributions, distribution rules, membership change rules, as well as dissolution rules. Step five is you'll obtain your EIN in New Hampshire for your company. This is also known as your federal tax tax identification number, and you're going to need this to open up your business bank account as well as hire employees and file your taxes. So it's very easy to actually get your EIN. You guys can do it directly through the IRS, and it takes about five to 10 minutes. Step six is a big one. There may be some permits and licensing that you need, and we're not going to go into this in too much detail since this does really depend on what type of business you're starting. For example, a restaurant is going to be way different than a construction company. But yeah, just know that there are business licenses, federal licenses, state licenses, permits, all that stuff. So we went through a lot of stuff. And and you probably don't want to do all that yourself. So that's why I just recommend using something like Northwest. In this next section of this video, I'll show you guys exactly how to use their platform. It literally takes about five minutes. I just recommend following along. All right, so if you click on the link down below, it's going to take you to this exclusive landing page where you guys can get this $39 business formation service package. So once you click on that link and get to this page, you'll click get started. It's first going to ask you what type of business you are starting. So since we're doing an LLC in New Hampshire, we'll select LLC and we will select our state. So after we do that, we will select our processing time. Of course, the faster you want to process, the more expensive it's going to be. But this is a fee that you'll need to pay anyways, regardless of whether or not you use Northwest or you do it yourself manually. For this video, we'll just go with the 19 day processing. And you guys can see that is a $102 fee that you need to pay regardless. The basic package costs $39. Super, super worth it. So after that, we'll click continue. And now I'm going to enter in my company details. You guys can put a comma here if you want. I'm just going to leave it like this, but it doesn't really
really matter. Just choose what you think looks better. For the business purpose, it doesn't need to be too in depth. For the NAICS number, what you're gonna want to do is click on that question mark. You guys can search here for your classification number. After you get that, we'll enter that in right here. And for the physical address and mailing address, we will leave that as registered agent. Then we will click continue. Now for this company, we'll be doing member managed, but just look through these and make sure it matches what you want. Since it is just me for this business, I will leave it as one member, but of course, feel free to choose accordingly. And then I'm going to enter in my name right here. For this, we'll leave it as our registered agent address. So then we'll click continue. Next, we'll enter in our email address as well as create a password. We'll then click continue right here. And here's where we're going to enter in our contact details. We'll then click continue. Now it's gonna ask if you wanna add some optional items. So they can do your EIN for you. You guys can click on that. You guys can see it costs $50, but I recommend just doing that yourself. It's super easy. If you want your LC to be taxed as an S Corp, you guys can also select this and they can do that election for you. I'm just not gonna do that since we can do that later. Phone service is included for free, so we'll leave that checked. Choose accordingly to what you want and then we will click continue. And now we're gonna enter in our payment information. So once you do that, we will click done and it's gonna start filing our LLC for us. Again, this is just gonna ensure that we do it correctly. It's gonna make sure there are no mistakes. And as you guys can see, it's $39 for the package. It's so cheap. And if you value time at all and wanna make sure that you do it correctly, I'd say just do this. I form a ton of businesses and I've never done it manually. That's just because these services make it so easy and they are so affordable as well. So again, the link to Northwest, it's gonna be down below and it'll get you this exclusive $39 deal. All right, so after you form your LLC, there are a few steps I recommend doing. First is you wanna open up your business bank account. This is going to separate your personal assets from your business assets. And the reason why this is so important is because it's going to help you keep your personal assets safe. If you commingle and mix business and personal stuff, in the case of a lawsuit, that's gonna be really bad and your personal assets will not be safe. You also may wanna get a business credit card. So we will leave a link down below to some of our favorite cards. And then you'll also wanna hire an accountant. This person's gonna really make sure that you save money on taxes and that you do everything correctly. There's also tax filing requirements for your LLC. So there is no sales tax in New Hampshire, which is pretty great, but there are employer taxes if you do have employees. So you'll want to register for unemployment insurance tax filing as well as employee withholding tax filing. And yeah, basically your accountant can help you guys with that. You'll also need to file your taxes, of course. And to do this, you'll either use form 1065, the partnership return for multi-member LLCs, or if you have a single member LLC, which is most of you guys watching this video, it's gonna be the form 1040 Schedule C. There's also an annual report that you guys need to file with the state. This can be done online with their quick start portal. It costs $100 and it's due April 1st of each year. There is a late fee of $50. And yeah, if you guys don't do this, your business can basically be dissolved by the state. So yeah, that's essentially how you guys can start your LLC in the state of New Hampshire. Of course, we covered a lot. Feel free to reference this video at any point. And again, I just recommend using a service to do this for you. It's so much easier and it'll really ensure that you guys do it correctly. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to help you guys start and grow your business. It's really, really exciting that you guys are starting an LLC. So I just want to wish you guys a lot of luck. Anyways, thank you so much for your time. And I'll see you in the next video.